This experience um, with this program has been a very humbling one. I've learned a lot. You know, prior to this, I thought I knew plenty about the medical field. However, once you know, I started shadowing different healthcare providers, I definitely realized that there was much more and there's still plenty um, more things for me to learn. Honestly, this internship changed my views on the doctor-patient setting because honest, just when I started this internship, I just wanted to be on the lab side of medical because I'm kind of a little bit of a germaphobe. So it was like, ew, I don't want to be getting infected or anything like that. And now it's more of how can I work to benefit patients and help them and help coworkers and everything else on the wonderful side that that is, so. I signed up to get the opportunity to see a different fields of medicine just so I could really focus and see like, do I really want to be a doctor or is just like a dream that I've had since my childhood. Um, I believe that the opportunities that I got um, to experience through this internship really truly has been um, extraordinary and very special and unique and tailored to not only my needs but um, the needs of my colleagues as well. I didn't realize how personal doctors and physicians and just healthcare providers in general um, got to their patient. There were just so many instances where um, you could be asking someone something, um, you know, why they're feeling a certain way and then they'll just be very personal and open with the providers. I think that's one of the things that surprised me honestly. Um, I thought, you know, one of the main things of course going into the healthcare field is knowing like the anatomy of the body, um, so many medical terms, medical, um, just medical things in general, but I didn't realize how personal it can actually get. It was great. I loved it. Uh, we did so many things that I wasn't really expecting. I mean, I, I knew we were going to be seeing different preceptors, shadowing them, but I didn't know it would be so hands-on in the sense that it'd be so intimate. I would see the patients, see their process, and I loved it. <laughs>at Mission Hospital and I actually got to experience what or I got to see a patient that was brain dead. I think by far learning about what it means to be brain dead, what that looks like, um, it definitely opened my eyes to exactly what physicians have to be prepared for. It's not something that you get to experience every single day and it's definitely, um, it was an experience that I didn't know I would have. I would change my mind each day I went to a different rotation. I was like, oh, I wanna do like OB, no, like rehab medicine, no, the NICU, no, physical therapy is so much fun. I changed my mind a lot. To see someone actually sewing something together on a person's body was really amazing for me. So, <laughs> uh, a man had had a cut from a procedure and the doctor took two different needles and just stitched him up and it was amazing to see the precision that went behind each single stitch, and that was wonderful. It was just really incredible and fascinating to see a surgeon cut open their patient. You know, it's, it's totally normal to them, and but seeing it from an outside perspective and not being the actual patient really amazed me, and it's something that really, uh, I guess, caught my attention, so. I really loved going with Dr. Bernstein for internal medicine. I thought that was very interesting when we went to the psych ward, um, all the protocols that we had to follow. Uh, it was so different from all the other patients. We had to be careful where we were positioned, how you spoke to the patient. I thought it was very interesting how you adapt yourself to the different audience or client that you'll be serving. So That was cool. I was at a point where I just wasn't so sure what um, career I wanted to choose. I was very, um, I had very, I had a very low self-esteem um, and I felt that I couldn't do what my dreams were, but really the amount of support really helped me believe that I could do it. 
I really can do it. And that's something that I'm very grateful towards this internship. Dr. Sandra Whitlock inspired me the most because she is the doctor who showed me what I want to do. I was rotating with her in palliative care when I felt the click that I had found where I wanted to go. Um, she is very passionate and very compassionate with all of her patients and her patients' families that she works with. And she showed me a side of her work that just shows me everything that I want to be when I'm older. Dr. Bernstein, definitely. I thought it was amazing how she has all this knowledge and she just keeps going and going. You have to be taking notes with her, but it's all so interesting and you feel that she's so capable. I wouldn't doubt twice for her to be my physician. I felt completely comfortable with her. I loved how approachable she was with questions. I, already ha I always have questions. So I loved how she was willing to answer them and take her own initiative to explain procedures uh, with me. Dr. Campbell has been the preceptor that has inspired me the most because he taught me that I shouldn't settle for less. I should always um, be hungry for more, um, be striving towards the highest star. He told me to um, not think lowly of myself and to go towards my dream. I think the preceptor that inspired me the most um, was Dr. Fred Stitchell. He um, was actually a registered dietitian and he just taught me a lot about the field in general, knowing that I wanted to go in there. And he actually was able to sit down with me and help me look for colleges to apply to. He was one of the um, people that pushed me to apply to App State, knowing that they had a good program. Oh, that's so hard. Um, I would either say Dr. Bernstein or Dr. Diaz. Dr. Diaz showed me that like you can be humorous and have like a lot of fun and still teach. And then he opened my eyes to rehab medicine. And then Dr. Bernstein, she just really like believed in me and she really saw something in me that like, I saw like a little in myself, but she really just kind of like made me see a lot more and really like believe in myself more than like I ever have. But if I had to pick one, it would have to be, it would have to be Dr. Diaz, who works over at Care Partners and he was so he was so straightforward with his patients and with all you know the team members or healthcare members that he works with. However, he was also very charismatic and and funny and you know filled with life. So I really enjoyed how he took care of a patient, even just you know shadowing him. I could really see his passion for his work, and it definitely inspired me to keep working towards my goals. I definitely want to go into the nursing field, so like a nurse practitioner or something like that, but I'm not quite sure exactly what do I want to specialize in. As a result of this internship, I'm wanting, I'm wanting to become a registered dietitian. The nutrition field is something that's um, been really interesting to me for the last three years. I didn't exactly know how, you know, how to look for programs, um, majors or um, master degrees that I that are good for um, becoming a dietitian, but I think this program definitely pushed me to see that nutrition is, is something that interests me and is something that I could do for a lifetime. It opened my eyes to different fields of medicine that I never thought I would be interested in, like rehab medicine or the NICU, and then it let me know that I don't want to do dentistry at all. As a high school student, I know that if I did not want to pursue the medical field, I would know this now as a high school student and that's fantastic for me because I know an opportunistic wonder that I do want to pursue the medical field and I want to go for my MD and take steps to reach my future that way. It has further pushed me to not just help my community, you know, coming from a Hispanic background, I was already pretty, like inspired to help my community and give back. However, with this program, I am 100% sure that I just not, I not only want to help my community, but all the other minority communities out there. I 
thought that becoming a surgeon was just a dream. And I always used to say, if I could at least step into the surgery room at least once in my life, I could die happily. And this program actually helped me not only go once in the surgery room, but I was able to go into the surgery room a couple of times. And that really, it's beyond interesting, it's beyond amazing, it's beyond um, words can describe because it, this is something that I've always wanted and this is why I say that dreams really can come true once you believe in yourself. I'd like to give a big thanks to everyone that was part of my MMMP internship experience, but in particular, I want to give a big thanks to Ms. Jacqueline Hallam. She has always been there for me and guided me through all points of my life, and I am very grateful towards you, Ms. Hallam. Um, I would like to thank the board of MMMP for having given me this opportunity. Um, the whole experience, definitely, I was very humbled through the whole um, experience of it, through every single um, rotation that I had and just very thankful that um, I was able to be a part of it. So I would like to thank my counselor Ms. Eldridge for telling me about this and then Mrs. Hallam for choosing me and all the other people on the board for believing in me and then of course my mom and my dad for just always letting me know to follow my dreams and my other interns just for supporting me throughout this entire thing. I would like to personally thank you, Ms. Jacqueline Hallam, because without you, I would not have the fantastic opportunity that I do to take my first footsteps into the medical field as I see them. So thank you very much. I would like to thank everyone who's involved in this program, all the doctors who have taken me under the wing and that I have made really good connections with. I would also like to thank Ms. Hallam because she's worked extremely hard to really organize you know, this program and she's been a fabulous mentor and leader and a role model to not just me but to many individuals, not just in this program but individuals outside and at Mayhek, at Mission, everyone, everywhere all around. Thank you all for this program, Jacqueline Hallam, for setting all this together, Linda Block, for having patients, dealing with our preceptors, our schedules, putting it all together, Dr. Bernstein for inspiring us all to keep on helping our patients and being there for them and always having the knowledge to help them, not being afraid to ask questions. Thank you to all the preceptors for your time and taking your time to explain us what it means to be a medical professional. I appreciate everything and everyone involved with this program. I hope it continues. All right, um, say the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, Wait a minute, I just lost <laughs> QRS, TV, W, X, Y, and Z. Additionally, I think that, oh, I forgot. <laughs> along your MMMP, you know, journey. So, oh, sorry, can I start again? Okay, <laughs> sorry. All the doctors who have been so generous with their time and allowing me to shadow them and really take the, the time to teach me you know, even though it's not part of their job. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, where am I going with this? <laughs> Everything it was definitely um, very humbling for me. Is that a word? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing fine. Humbling is a word. Humbling is a word. However, I want to give a big thanks to Miss Jacqueline Hallam who was always there for me and um, provided me major support, especially during uh, these period, in, these point, <laughs> this period in life. <laughs> uh, did it make sense? <laughs> I want to give a big thanks to everyone who was part of my MMMP internship experience. In particular, I want to give a big thanks to Ms. Jacqueline Hallam. She is someone that has um, been there from the beginning and given me a hand to hold with some and she gave me some good guidance throughout life <laughs> <laughs>